Howdy. I guess this is going to be a rare mid-working video if I have enough uh, editing progress. I'll try to put these stitch these two together, but figured it was a good time as any to try to show you. Hey, look at that. Drill the hole in my car. You know, <laughs> just another day. But getting the master cylinder installed here for the clutch. So got to cut, cut a hole in the car. So that one to the left there is the uh, hole for the master cylinder just cut. Up above it is the brake booster. To the right there is the steering column. That's going to be the master cylinder. To the left is uh, some bulkhead for some wires. But all right, well, hopefully I can uh, clean this up and I'll take a video later today. Howdy. All right, uh, a little update here. Um, got the Racetronics 255 pump in the uh, 99 gas tank the other day. Um, that wasn't too bad. It was more so just, uh, I don't know, anxiousness dealing with fuel and everything like that. Um, but it wasn't horrible. The only thing that did stink about it was Racetronics doesn't really anticipate you also doing the hot wire kit or the Corvette, you know, C5 fuel pressure regulator at the same time. So I ended up having to backtrack some of my work in order to redo some steps. Primarily the pump wiring is different for the hot wire kit. So I already had the pump installed in the bucket and had to undo the wiring so I could put the hot wire kit in. And then the C5 fuel pressure regulator uh, removes the in-tank stock regulator on the 99. And since I already installed the fuel pump in the bucket, you can't un you can't take it back out because there's a snap lock on one of the filters. So I had to cut out the fuel pressure, the stock fuel pressure regulator with a Dremel while the pump was still in the bucket. And it was just uh, not the best setup. So, but got it done, got the hot wire kit all up in there and uh, gas tanks installed. Right up in there, got the heat shields on and the hot wiring, is, hot wire kit is down this way. Right there, there's at least the relay. As I can tell, I also got the Z28 rear end in. Uh, just got that finished up. Decided to go back with the decarbons and the stock sway bar links. Try to save a little bit of money and those are things that I can pretty easily do um, once everything's all buttoned up. So got that back in here and then 98 went on a diet. Carpets out, interiors out, transmission uh, shift select levers out. New steering wheel or gauge cluster because there's a clutch pedal set with a tick master cylinder up there. And I don't have my light on me to show you, but man, it was, it was a process. Um, if I was using the stock master cylinder, it would have went okay, but because I upgraded to the tick, uh, it gave me a little bit of an issue. So there it is in there. So the automatics have a stud. If you can see this little circular disc right here to the left is a stud that goes through the firewall. And the automatics have a stud down there that's used to hold on the shift interlock cable. That's all it's used for. And I had everything cut and drilled and everything, and I was trying to put the master cylinder on, and it was just getting jiggered up sideways. I was I couldn't find the bolt hole threads, and I thought I was I thought I did something wrong. I come back outside to look at it, and I could see it sitting on the stud hole. I was like, dang it! So I took it out and uh, cut off the stud. Um, that was my solution. I'll go over here and show you where it's at. I might end up, uh, well, first I'll show you what the 99 looks like. So you can see down there, there's, there's no stud, no circular disc down below the master cylinder there. And it looks like this. So if anyone else runs into this, if you have an automatic that you're going to swap to a T56 and you decide to upgrade your master cylinder, this stud that sits underneath there is going to be an issue with the tick. So it looks like it's spot welded in three ways. And I dremeled, geez, come on, phone. 
I dremeled one of them and the other ones I was able to just kind of get in there with a vice grip and wiggle this enough that it came out. But this goes through the firewall and uh, it's not, the tick master actually covers it up decent in amount. So it's not like I'm gonna go back in there and weld in a plate or anything. I think I'm just gonna JB weld the hole. It's really not that big. And like I said, the tick master actually covers up quite a bit. So that's my uh, update for the past few days. Um, next up is painting the engine bay. Got my touch of paint in. Heat's coming on. Uh, paint the engine bay, and then I can get fuel lines, brake lines run up here. I can get the engine bay harness in. Then I can start working on the interior harness and then uh, transmission stuff. So, all right, see you in the next one. Go Bills.